and move Ken up. And we still have eyes, and Ken continues to have pretty great aim. And yeah. this guy. Alright. Now, we blew that guy up. So, I want to say this other guy's dead. The question is, do I want to blow run and gun and run up here and find nothing? Or should I risk just running up there? Or play cautiously? I'm going to play a little more cautiously. T Terry's gotten hurt and he's not looking to get hurt again. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This is actually a new alien type that wasn't in the original. Um, the original XCOM or enemy? A the original X. Unknown. No, yeah, the original XCOM. Yeah. The Outsider. So the Outsider is, is more... fairly squishy, but yeah. he carries the regular plasma rifle, which will, on a critical kill, any of our squad members right now. And he's flanking me. There's never more than one of those to a ship, right? Uh, there are sometimes mm. two on the bigger ships. Okay, alright, I Alright. Uh oh. Oh no, oh! Sonya was killed, yeah. This Sonya is... Blade is down! This is why I didn't want to bring the recruits. Fatality! Fatality, indeed. Alright. Luckily, it doesn't look like anybody's taken a panic hit. Otherwise, yeah, we'd be good. screwed. Panicking when in a four-person squad when somebody dies drastically reduces the amount of soldiers you can use. Now is a good time for me to use run and gun. So I can run around to this side. Flank him. And have a hundred percent chance to hit him with seventy percent chance critical. <laughs> one of the, one of the little things. Vengeance. Yes. One of the things I like about this game, by the way, is that like some games, like they cap like your hit chance at ninety nine percent. This game does not. It's like I mean, if if your if your bonuses add up to one hundred percent or more, then it's one hundred percent. Yeah. There's none of this. It's you know you can never have more than ninety nine stuff that a lot of games do. Yeah, I mean, some games like that though like to add the element of randomness. And I, I do appreciate that XCOM doesn't have that. Well, there is an element of randomness. It's just that, like, sometimes it's like, you know, if you're if the shot is, if it's such a good shot, then, like, you know, the, the, the randomness isn't enough to make it not a hit. Well, no, basically. what I mean is that it the game is like, there's a lot of elements of randomness in this game. <laughs> a sure shot is only fair to give you when you're in the right yeah. vantage point. It can turn around and bite you in the ass, though, because... The oh, sure. game uses the same hit detection, hit uh, percentage for the enemies, and if they have a hundred percent chance on you, yeah, there's no random misses. So let's see if you can rack up a kill. There we go. Yes. All right, we've avenged Sonya. Yeah. Her heart is not was not unceasing, however. <laughs> no, too soon. I'm sorry. Heavy heart, but uh, it was, she was a, a sniper. worthwhile she was mission. A, she was a sniper, right? Yeah. So our first on the wall of heroes. Yeah, why don't why don't we? Uh, oh, a new medal, the Defender's Medal. Visit the barracks to designate a special cap cap capability for this medal. Rename it and award it to a soldier. Yeah. Okay, now how do the medals are a new addition over Enemy Unknown? So, we did find one flight computer, but the power source was damaged. That's going to be useless to us. Yeah, we go to the barracks and medals. So the Defender's Medal, uh, we can name it whatever we want, but let's take a look let's at the powers real quick. So the never Defender's Medal you... can be awarded giving the soldier the ability to never panic as a result of allies getting wounded or killed or medkits and restorative mist heal 2 HP more when used on this soldier. That's a... I'd, I would personally recommend the never panic. 
Yeah. That I mean, just because I mean, like, get healed more is like so very s- situation specific. Mm-hmm. Now, from then, from uh, this point on, whenever we get a defender medal or whatever we decide to call it, it That's will what always have do? the never panic. Uh, okay. Power. All right. We got. We got to rename it. Yeah. What should we like the Sonya Blade Memorial Award? I don't know. Is there room for that? Blade. Uh, Memorial. The Blade Memorial Award. That's good. Name for our first fallen ally. We can award this to whoever, but right now. Or is is there is there enough name to put like S period Blade? Maybe. All right. Uh, we have one for right now, and as pre- probably makes sense to g- give it to someone with low will. Yeah, as uh, funny as it is, the memorial award for high will should probably go to someone. The with biggest, low will. the biggest cow, the biggest coward in XCOM, it should be honored in Sonya Blade's memory, which right now is Terry Bogard. <laughs> well, okay, there you go then. Uh, we can we can hold off on awarding it though. But do you want to just go ahead and give it to Terry? Sure. If he dies, can we give it to someone else then? Or... No. Oh, really? It's it's like stays it, attached to that. Guy. Yeah. Okay. Well, although I mean, still, I might as well give it to. I mean, it's it's not doing any good just sitting in a drawer. True. And there is a little commencement ceremony. Where's his dress uniform? And bam. All right. Now he has a defender now, medal. Now let's go to the... Um, <clears throat> let's see the memorial. Yeah, this is kind of... Can you, There's like a table with like a knife in it. There's some photos. Are those shot glasses? Yeah. Likely okay. being poured out in memory. For their homies. Yeah, it makes sense. No, I, I mean, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Some photos... Uh, I don't know if this gets fuller, the more if people die. I well, I'm sure we can... We'll find out, I'm sure. Yeah. So, uh, looking at our soldier list, we only have 11 in the barracks. Do you want to grab a few, add a few more? Yeah, I think so. Let's round it out to 15. Alrighty then. Did, did, did that accept? Or... Yeah. Okay. How long, will that t- how long will they take to arrive? Uh, new soldiers will arrive in three days. We're gonna go ahead and scan. Soldiers operational. Weapon fragments. Fragment research is right. done. Alright, let's see. What does it So, although the alien weapon fragments provide a limited glimpse into the systems utilized in their equipment, we've seen enough to confirm my worst suspicions about their technology, that it is vastly superior to our own. However, I have been encouraged by the rapid developments the research team has made in studying the damaged circuitry and electronics we've recovered. Our initial efforts have already yielded a successful outcome. The new integrating sites, the new integrated sighting module created for our weaponry was heavenly, heavily influenced by the alien's own targeting system. So the scope system. This All can right, go in that... place of the... Um... It goes in the item slot. Yeah, the grenade or... Medkit, med yeah. and it improves the aim by uh, plus ten. That's pr- those are pretty handy in my experience. Yeah. So we've also unlocked experimental warfare, alien nav computer, which we need one more flight computer to uh, use beam weapons, and these are all slow projects. All right. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually going to go well, with the meld recombination here. Cause... All right. What's the what's the descript- what's that description say? Oh. Wait, oh. The oh, God, God damn it. To Sorry, I'm gonna have to change it. So the in, uh, oh, we've read this one. The invaders appear to have deployed canisters of the strange. Oh, sentence. okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, go. Uh, so that's gonna be finished. Actually, let's go to the gray market real quick. Yeah, are the damage are the damaged equipment is that like useless except as you know sell? Yeah. Okay. So 
it says it right here too in green. This item has no restitch benefit and can be sold freely. Okay. So we can sell these, they're worthless, and then there are some other items that we will recover that can be sold freely. But the other things we can sell are sectoid cor corpses, Illyrium. I always, I've, ever since the original game, I've always wondered who the buyers for that is. For those there are eccentric rich people. <laughs> Mount the head on the wall. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to give us... Have the whole thing dollars. taxidermied. And, uh, yeah. So we have one working alien flight computer, but it hasn't been researched yet. Okay. And we need two to do that do that research project? Yeah, we need uh, one more, so we're going to have to shoot another alien craft right. down. So, <sighs> let's see. I'm sure one will be along sooner than later. That's everything. No new engineers, so we can't do any projects there. Uh, yeah. All right, four new soldiers on site, so let's get to renaming. Okay, then. All right. No, nope. not a bad recruit. It's just sure. It just we we keep Commander, got a lot. We keep getting women. It's interesting. Yeah. Let's see. What are our options here? Okay. So I I would rec I I might recommend Egypt simply because Africa's already freaking out because they had yeah. there's that uncont there was that uncontested. Abduction beforehand. Abduction attack before. Yeah, all these other places are very calm, panic wise, and I'd go on top of that, Egypt's gonna give us more engineers. Oh, okay, yeah, that seems. Yeah, that seems. Uh... So, let's see. Who do we want to clear? We need to get what? one of these guys to a sergeant because that's gonna allow us to open up more. Squad ranks. More off, yeah. Um, well, I think Ken is probably the most experienced. Ken is the most experienced. Yeah, at this so point. I'm gonna leave him on. Um, let's bring a couple more rookies here. Um, Ryu is terrible at hitting things. So I'm just gonna bring three more rookies. All right. Uh, let's bring the pirate, Cervantes. Avast. All right. Quite the colorful bunch. Touching down. We're dropping you just inside the Egyptian border. Operation Unceasing Mother. That's that's not very badass sounding. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> And also, we already just had unceasing heart too. It's yeah. The ra the random name generator is just on an unceasing kick of late. Oh, it looks like we're going to be touching down in the fountain area. Okay. Which we've played in. Uh, Nick multiplayer. Nick and I faced off in the multiplayer on that only a few weeks ago. Central, this is Big Sky. Team is touching down now. By this this is a map with quite a bit of open area. Yeah. So on this end, it's in better interest to choose one of these lanes and go up. I'm going to lean towards the right. Moving. And Morgan Queensland. Oh, look. It, it stays a... Uh, um, lowercase. Oh, really? Okay, anyway, that's nice. Um, yes, Commander. It actually... Okay. Oh, it's interesting. Although down in the corner, lower left, it's it's it's, it's in all, all caps. caps. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, that's cool. 